The dot product is shown here as the multiplication of two vectors, a and b. A good example of this is the multiplication of the vector force and the vector displacement. The result of this dot product is a new scalar called work. We can see this in practice if we take a force of 3 newtons that pulls a box, let's say 10 meters. The force acts parallel to the displacement, so the angle between these two vectors is 0 degrees, and since the cosine of 0 is 1, the work is simply 3 times 10, or 30 joules. But what happens if one of the vectors is not parallel to the other? Let's say the force acts at an angle of 60 degrees. Then the formula will yield 15 joules. This should make sense because the amount of the force vector that acts parallel to the displacement is 3 newtons times cosine 60, or a parallel vector of 1.5 newtons. And 1.5 times 10 gives us 15 joules of work. If the force acts perpendicular to the displacement, none of the force is parallel to the displacement, so no work is done. The dot product of two vectors at right angles will always be zero.